Greetings from Desperate Card. Here again, we are talking about CRWG and DASA, right? I mean to say, what basically is the availability of total number of seats under CRWG and DASA, right? As in year 2020, the total number of seats which is available under CRWG and DASA quota is 3000 plus, right? Under CRWG, 1000 seats are there and under DASA, 2000 seats are there, right? That is it. Now, each year what happens that DASA authorities, they release a matrix of seats. It means you can check what is the availability of total number of seats spanning across the different institutions which are affiliated under CRWG and DASA, right? Let me tell you that they release a branch-wise cutoff and institution-wise cutoff. So this comprises of a matrix, correct? Now, the thing is that currently there are 56 centrally funded institutions which are affiliated under CRWG and DASA. Maybe one or two which are not the government institution and here we are not talking about the government institutions. We are talking only about those institutions which are funded by MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource and Development, Government of India. So they are 56 in number, right? And the matrix basically is little complicated. You need to go to each college, you need to check each and everything properly, right? So I would also like to say the good thing is that it doesn't change, you know, radically over a period of time, okay? So the thing is that Currently, there are 56 centrally funded institutions in India and in order to know the branch wise and the institution wise, I mean to say NITs, triple ITs and other centrally funded institutions in India, what basically is the availability of seats in whichever institution that you can get, okay, in form of PDF once you click the PDF over here, right? Second and most important thing is that CRWG and DASA, it has got nothing to do with IITs. IITs, there are 23 Indian Institute of Technology. Or even if there is a relation between uh, CRWG and DASA and IITs, it is only the form of eligibility criteria. I mean to say, from year 2021, the admission into NITs, triple ITs and other centrally funded technical institutions in India under CRWG and DASA, it would be based on J main score. Okay. So the thing is that there would be a different cutoff for CRWG and DASA for those who are living abroad and in the Middle East, Southeast Asia, US, etc. If you surpass this cutoff, then you become eligible for, I mean, you become part of the general quota. Okay. Top 2,25,000 students who are eligible to write JE Advanced and then having used the score of JE Advanced, you can become part of IIT which is 23 number. There is approximately 10,500 seats currently in IITs. So this is it. So this was all about the matrix of seats, the availability of the total number of seats. I once again request all of you to click on the link over here so that you could know precisely the number of seats available in all NITs and triple ITs under CRWG and DASA quota in different branches. I also request you, if you have any specific question, please put a comment over here or you can send us a mail at info at testprepcard.com. We shall get back. Thanks.